a world champion will be crowned here in Shanghai. This is the trophy who will claim the frozen throne of WGL Summer 2019 and who will claim $30,000. It's Russia versus Korea. Again, no China for the second consecutive time. And also for the second consecutive time, Europe is represented in the grand final. One best of five to decide it all. He is the champion. He has been here before. He has killed Foggy last time. It would be his second biggest prize purse of all time. And that is for someone like Moon. This is how much money is on the line here. Only the Game X tournament brought more money to his bank account. He has won basically everything so many tournaments over the years by far the most successful walker player of all time a legend a hall of famer a true esports icon happy his opponent perhaps the scariest looking player at this wgl but it would be his first time ever world championship caliber title this is already his best accomplishment of all time fifteen thousand dollars guaranteed Top two, this has never happened before outside of qualifiers. Top three WCG, okay. <laughs> Top three, uh, what was it, BlizzCon? <laughs> All right, he got that as well. But now, biggest stage, top two. Oh boy, we have to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, goodgame.ru community, that you donated the money to bring this man into this venue. Absolutely. He wasn't really even planning on this. He says he's a streamer, not so much a pro player, but boy, is he looking professional here. One hell of a performance from him so far. Outstanding plays by him. He lost one series so far against Focus, but that was close as well. He, I think, now is safe to say the most consistent player at this tournament. Agreed. With TH falling to him, that was basically the, the decision who is the best player in this tournament from start to finish. TH... Had a decent start, but no follow-up. No follow-up. Moon, how ready is he for Happy? They met each other six times. Guess what? It's three to three. They played 14 maps. Guess what? It's seven to seven. And the last Ooh. encounter was won by Happy in the Ting Warcraft Invitational. Shout out to Todd for that. Moon, the round of 16, yeah, he made it through the winner bracket, but he was struggling there. Closing a uh, close to a defeat against Chimiko, and then in the round of eight, close to a defeat against Law Lyot. This is not the unstoppable force that we saw in winter. He is dropping maps, he is doing mistakes, but hap that happened to him as well. Against Focus, that wasn't the best. He was trying to throw curveballs with expansions, but apparently not today. This micro of this man is something we have maybe never seen before. Yeah. I'm just in awe what this man brings to the table, but Moon is a different caliber because Moon could be the counter to Happy's playstyle. Absolutely agree. Don't get me wrong, Moon is also very good at microing. The bands, Moon not getting rid of Twisted, yes. by the way. This is interesting. For the very first time here, Twisted is in the pool and Moon picks it as his second one. Moon also picking Amazonia, Happy CH and Northern starting on Echo. And this is picture perfect to what I want to say with this. You don't want to fight head to head with Happy. It's just impossible. TH showed it. He's out microing you if you don't have an advantage going into that fight. And even if you have an advantage, then there's this Coil Nova and he equalizes this advantage. On maps like Twisted, you can play around that. You can expand more. Yep three, four times. We've seen this from Moon in the past and just out macro him. If that's the game plan for Moon, I think it's a very good one. Then Happy needs to find new solutions to a new task. Maybe the toughest task, I don't know. On paper, TH was the biggest obstacle already. But Moon showed against 1-2-0 that he is not to be underestimated in this matchup. The best Night Elf versus Undead player is stepping in the ring with the most dominant player of this tournament. Best of five. First to three. Moon, a two-time champion. The, se uh, the third back-to-back -back champion next to TH and 1-2-0 or the first winner from the West. The first Russian winner since 2005. Moon. 
is on point. Happy as well. Bring glory to the West. It starts on Echo Isles. Happy versus Moon. Fifth race versus Emperor. I am so excited for this match. This is our grand final of WGL Summer. Kind of this whole year has been building up to this moment. Yes, there's other tournaments. Yes, there's other big titles. But this is the biggest one. This is the World Championship. And this best of five, by the way, this is a best of five. We will be crowning a new champion. Moon's year so far, his qualifier was amazing. Finishing first with 20 points difference <laughs> to the second. He was dominating this, man. Unbelievable. Winning two and uh, yeah, earning points left, right and center. Also the win in H&W Masters, the second biggest prize money of the year. And of course, WGL Winter, the win against Foggy there. His nemesis was TH. That hurdle is gone. TH was eliminated by Happy. Happy, we have to say this again, played a lot of show matches, online tournaments and one offline tournament, the MTW Legendary Cup, where he won in the grand final against Hawk 4 to 1. Apart from that, he only lost the show match to Law Lion, but he stepped up his game against Night Elf. Moon. Is creeping the mercenary king. Is that a warden? Question mark. Yeah, I think the same. This is indicating a warden indeed. And we have seen practice games between them on Nettie's, on Terranas, where it was the warden, where she got to level 6 and Happy was still able to take this map. Moon is walking away with the ancient. Is he faking this? What's he doing? I don't know. Did he change his mind and now he's going for the natural? Seems like it. Just because of the Acolyte Scout? Happy is running over in keeper. true happy fashion. Whoa, Keeper with this one? Moonwell ah. there as well, not even an expansion. Unusual start for Moon, but he's not dodging Happy's harass. Getting the Acolyte here wouldn't be too bad. Gonna be some scouting prevented, perhaps later a counter expansion made more difficult. But of course, no entangle here. Happy, can he get the last hit? He was able to do that previously, amazingly so, against Lin. Doesn't get it! Goes towards Moon. That was close, though. If Moon gets the entire camp, that is his level two. And he gets it as well! Happy missing two coils to begin with. A rare sight for the Russian undead player. The Wisp will go down. No instant expansion here, but the DK is out of mana, and the Keeper's level two. And Happy, I guess once again, Starting off with a bit of shakiness into the yeah. first game. This has been the theme for Happy Games. Against Lin, he built the wrong building. That was the biggest uh, sign of nervousness. Maybe the nerves are coming to him or he just starting slow and then explodes again. Because what we've seen as well, yes, these um, suboptimal earlies happen, but Happy is not like shaken because of this. He just continues to play and then he keeps on improving. Another coil. Oh, pump faking. Trying to get the detonate here. Skeleton on the hunt, but is not going to get it. Wisp too fast. This harass, Moon is defending it nicely. Yeah. Happy getting very little experience here. Oh, the Wisp actually survives. Skeleton expires. But the expansion is tremendously delayed. Archer might be a kill here, the Moonwell. Well, again, like on Terrana stand, the Moonwell positioning for Moon is always, almost always flawless. These skeletons can't do too much. He got Moon. a little bit of experience. Moon unwilling to detonate. Yeah. Not a single one so far. Yeah. Really greedy with the wisps, but it's okay. He saved uh, a lot of them. So here we go now. Tree of Life coming up. Four minutes is medium timing. Not very fast. Not very late. He doesn't have to walk the tree over. That's a good uh, point for Happy. He's not creeping without the DK. Attack. Not starting this to be a little faster. Maybe taking a little step back. He went for this unusual opening, Happy did, which I guess at this point we can call the Happy opening. Kind of looks like a Ted Fiend opening to begin with, but then no Fiends with the early graveyard, but just more ghouls. DK. I don't think he's level 2 from this. Wants this Wisp desperately, but Moon. Against 1-2-0, or oh, Pump Fake, Pump Fake. Against 1-2-0, he was losing these Wisp. Pump Fake again. Oh, and it, that was a detonate. Yes. So Close to level 2. Level 2 prevented. Uh, bit of applause there from the audience. 
Which second we got a claw for him and more skeletons. No dust. Also no laboratory here. Level two and a half for the keeper, not the oppressive level three. And the tech should be like halfway through. Hunter's, Hunter's Hall. Hall getting scouted. That's Whoa. so important. Yeah. The skeleton saw it. And it's so important that Happy steps up his scouting game. Against TH, that was lackluster, especially the longer the game went. But yep. here he sees it and can react to it fast. So six archers, though, into Hunter's Hall. That's interesting. So that certainly should mean no wins, Other unless he wants to go for early upgrades, but that would that be very weird. Yeah. That must be that must be Dryads, then. Must be Lores here on Tier 2 as it is finishing up for Moon. Yep. Okay, he There's relies on his Dryad play again. Panda once more. It worked against 1-2-0, but that was not because of the Panda. He the skeleton really scouting is excellent this time around. Knows exactly what's going on. Happy creeping without his units, not willing to sacrifice them to the Entangle. Of course, not too easy to do with DK and Lich only. May have to invest some Coil Novas here for these last hits. Keeper is coming in, trying to do some damage Here's and get some last hits. Attack. And the Panda is creeping on happy side. Moon really doesn't want to face the high-level undead heroes and he's trying to steal as much as possible. Coil Nova almost flawless, oh. gets it in the end. And it is the Scroll of the Beast. Can be nice for big fiend armies if there's no wisps in time for the detonate. Another Double Nova. Slaughterhouse. Okay, this is what Happy likes to play against his mass riot style. I was talking about a little bit earlier in 1 to Zero's game, what it almost seemed like the transition he was trying to get to. The mass A-bomb, mass wagon style. Something that is very rare. Almost only Happy plays it. Is Moon ready for it? The panda is starting to get there. Claws for him, not the biggest of deals. But it's, of course, a little help. Second claw. Happy bought this one from yep. the marketplace. A little gold invested, but we have plus 12 on the lich. Gonna be plus 17. Only one lord to start things, so mass dryads is not gonna be Please out that quick. Moon now. with a staff. And disease cloud this time early. 1-2-0 was making the mistake of not going for this upgrade. Happy corrects that instantly. Yeah. As fast as possible, basically. Happy still has five ghouls, I believe, so he's got all the lumber in the world. Now he's got the... Orb as well, but the panda is leveling up quickly. Yeah. He's gonna get level three in no time. What against does the panda do against abominations? Against a bombs, true. He's not very good. But if he goes to the back line, doesn't get focused against uh, demolishers, rather meat wagons, he's really, really good. Third claw of attack, plus 23. Moon's harass, Moon's distraction continues with an entangle against the ghoul, but the big upgrade is already out of the way, and he gets the coil and the staff out, so this ghoul will not die. Lich is creeping up. Level 2 for him. DK, though, with this retreat, is not getting the experience, and it's not level 3. So it has to go pretty much for either the 6 o'clock, which is risky, or early for the mercenary camp to get maybe another item. Claw plus 9, question mark. Also the Keeper with bonus damage, but of course not as good on him as it is on the Lich with the higher attack speed and the orb. Destroyer upgrade as well, against the Entangle, of course. Yep. Two big upgrades from the Slaughterhouses. Therefore, light Players on the fiends. Are under Moon, though, is not sticking on Dryads. He's going tier three. He's going towards bears. How good are A-bombs and wagons against bears, is the question. Is Happy he going wagons, though, is the question. If he sees and scouts this, that at the moment, no scout running across the map. Yeah. If he goes... A bombs fiends and a couple of destroyers. I think that's fine with this lich. Akali was moving south. Is he aiming for the counter expansion here? <laughs> plus plus nine. The Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Someone call Rotterdam. A plus thirty-two lich. That's insane. Nine damage. minutes in. Oh baby, keeper. What does he get? Plus plus nine as well. well. Still, <laughs> my what a what a game of claws. Yeah, but he doesn't have the attack speed, really. He doesn't have the Orb of Corruption, which has a nice synergy. Happy apparently stops A-bomb production quite fast. Yeah. And it's at 45. Is it the d expansion play it is? Okay. Going for the distraction attack. Tier 3 is not done. It's a good timing. And this time Moon is not eating up the forest. Lich very close to level 3, would like to get one or two kills for that level 3, for the level 2 Nova. The Breath of Fire is insane against the ghoul, that is the level 3. Is he two-shotting these wisps? He is. <laughs> 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 alright, alright. 
Mentangle on him. Breath of Fire connects to the ghouls. Was a decent start. He's going into Bounty hippos as well. Bears and hippos. Hippos should be really strong here. There's no fiends at all. Not a single web. Oh, yeah. I mean, the Lich is a decent anti-air with this inventory. Conova. Takes the archers out. Archer down. Can he stop this entangled gold mine? He was not a fan of just clicking through expansions. Oh, that Breath of Fire hurt a lot. But the right clicks from the, the Oh, Lich. the archers all lined up. Triple Nova. One right click, two right clicks. She's dead. There's more coils. Could be more kills. This is supposed to be only distraction yep. by Happy, but he's fighting so many kills here. Ghouls are about to die. This time we have a staff. Can he click through this? Another Nova, more kills, and the Entangled is gone. And the Panda can't go back in. He's too low. I guess Lich is low. Mana, what is going on? This is only a couple of ghouls and an A-bomb. And, and, and a super crazy Lich, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a plus 32 Lich, and he is putting in so much damage. These archers don't stand a chance. These dryads don't stand a chance. And there's plenty of coils in the absence of a Demon Hunter. This spell Lich. immediately. Happy is on the button once again. And the expo is done. There is a scout by Moon. He has seen this on the other side of the map with a wisp. But what can you do about it? Nothing. And no at the war, moment. maybe, but he doesn't have the resources really. A bomb stuck in the main. Forgetting about that for now. Uh, 60 supply. Well, he's killing the wisps. Happy can perhaps consider going for the tree of life. Actually, with three normal damage units. Okay, he's preventing this mining so for such a long time. Ghoul sent back, Ziggurat coming up, just fortify this and buy more time. Happy very low lumber here, bringing yeah. all those ghouls yeah. out aggressively. 61 supply for Moon now, he's sending the reinforcements in, but has to be careful of being intercepted. Two hippos. Happy can gladly fall back, this was a great attack for him, he bought so much time. Finally bringing the A-bomb from the main as well, which was forgotten for a little while. Heal scrolls are a big deal, Happy would love to claim them. Nova towards the hippogriffs. A bomb and uh, statue is coming in. Lich a little bit out of position. Has to reposition. Where's the coil? He has an invul potion on that Lich, so he can. Oh, the coil ends up on the destroyer. Sacrifices this invul for it. Seven seconds. The disease cloud is spread. Nothing against the bears for now. Reju on that. Uh, uh, Dryad, where's the coil? The Lich! Here we go! Third abomination! The air fights at the moment won by Moon. He's not doing too much against that. Still absence of Fiend. And Tangle against the A-bomb. Happy wants another item, I guess, but still plenty of coils to work with. And there he heals him up to one-third again. One destroyer still up, but that's the last dispel. And he's running out of range. The Hippo kills it! And now the Keeper basically free to reign. Kind of low mana, however, but the bear's on the ground. He can't deal with them too easily anymore. Happy suddenly with a supply deficit. Tinker third coming in for Happy. With the pocket factory, interestingly. No swarm rockets. Another abomination saved once more. The Lich is out of mana. Just right clicks in quotes. Also, no coils anymore on this DK. No potion on him. Invul, at least. The Lich is dead. No coil! Breath of Fire burns the ice cold hands of the Lich. And Happy overestimating his army and maybe too confident in this Lich. He has a lot of gold, though. Can he buy him back? Does he want to buy him back? He's certainly TPing out. Lich bought and saved. But Moon, all of a sudden, with a five supply lead and the strength of a Keeper of the Grove, split attack with Treants. Happy. Is he throwing away this lead? They're still not mining at the expansion, by the way. Moon forgetting about it. No towers up at the expansion just yet. It's a lot about mana, though, guys. Not only about supply, also mana. Panda, super low mana. Keeper, super low mana. I think for the Keeper it's one and Tangle. There is a Destroyer, though. How can he bring damage to these bears? They're trying to wreck the He's haunted gold mine. It. Exactly. Wants to TP out afterwards. No repair. Okay, now coming in, but the Breath should be good against it. Once it's ready, it is now. Mass repair. TP out. Moon calculating this nicely. And this Expo falls and the bear is saved as well. Moon on point. Happy overextending heavily as it turns out. Oh boy, if he had just fallen back, he could have just TP'd after he, when he was retreating, but happy. A player who rarely backs away from a fight. That was a fight, in hindsight of course, easy to say, he should have backed out of. Lich almost level 4. Trading TP's now, and upgrades for Moon. Not going up to 80 at the moment, has to realize that there's no wisps in the mine, but of course, a player of the caliber of Moon will realize this quickly. Item not a claw plus 9. But I guess it's okay, otherwise he's uh, too much of a glass cannon dying there in the middle of the map. This is not allowed to happen again. Happy again, out of lumber. Basically has to hold this with what he has, because Moon is pushing again. With a massive supply lead. 15 supply. And no consumables except this invul on the Lich. Lich has to hold this. 
heal but scroll as well. It's so many bears. And so much mana as well for Moon. The hippos are pretty much useless, right? Is there a destroyer? I'm not 100% sure there must be. Okay. Yep, there's one. How to deal with the hippos in the air and how to deal with the bears on the ground. Extremely tough hold. Pocket factory to seal this. And of course, Treant's coming in. This limited the spell. Hippos coming in. Mass right clicks. They are so fast. He needs a thousand coils on this destroyer. Lich a little bit of disable there with the entangle too. How many can he kill? Oh, he's only going for the hero kill. There's a TP of Moon and he wants to force it immediately! Oh, but the that panda. was too late! And this happened to Law Lion before where the hero with the TP was killed. And now the panda, nobody. Can he follow oh my the god! Invo potion has to be used. The Lich following, not following. Oh, boy, this panda keeps him alive. Invo potion, last second, a gargoyle late. The Tinker. Almost dead! If only the bear turns around, the dry and shot is not Ooh. enough! Whoa! The expo was not cancelled, by the way. The bears are still here, but they're by themselves level 4. The lich now extremely hurt as well. Eating the gargoyle for more mana. Massive Nova towards these bears. Right clicks coming in. The keeper has been bought back, I think, from the tavern. But how to get the mana is the question. Still a heal scroll. He brings that in. That's massive. Lich might be coiled once more, but standing in the bears. Just right clicks by Moon. Right click, right click, right click. And Happy runs away from this. Where is the coil? Is it ready? It must be ready. Ooh, there we go. Saving the carry. Tinker about to die on level 2.6. Lich has Nova. Oh, two big kills, most likely. DK running in, but Panda. no entangle. Panda back with full mana. This A-bomb is definitely dead, perhaps even the second one. The dry is slow, coming in big time once again. No drunken haze, only drunken brawler and breath of fire. A-bomb sacrificed, yes, happy to nice TP experience. Out. And Moon TPs out, happy holds this. Despite Ooh. 17 supply difference, the magic of a stacked Lich. And now Happy can mass produce. For once, he's not completely out of lumber. He should run to the shop right now and get the invo. Yeah, with the DK, that should be doable. Bear, so everything is so hurt. Moon cannot have enough Moon Juice to heal this army back up, right? I mean, he didn't use them for a while, but on the Panda, he did. Wagon's coming in, A bomb's coming in. He's completely moving away from destroyers. He has no gold for an invo. Or did he buy it on the Lich already? I think he bought it. He bought it, okay. Oh boy, what, what a game to start things with. 17 minutes in, Moon with a clear supply lead, but oh Happy God. has the better heroes. 25 supply though. Did he buy, build towers at the expansion by now? There's only a single narrow, nothing else. Okay, at least a little Happy bit of Happy 500 snow. gold, he's not spending it. They are so greedy. 600 gold. What's he waiting for now? now? Is that too late? Units take time to produce. Still didn't go for a single fiend this game. More statues. Seems like he's going back into destroyers. But I don't know. These hippogriffs are just going to snipe the statues, if you ask me. We'll see. More gargs coming. Is that the right idea? They will distract, but will they kill? Moon sitting between the rally and the army. Super hard for Happy to combine this now. He's going for the air of Moon, but the Destroyer is in the middle of everything. Breath of Fire rallying through, this time with Drunken Haze. Okay, so there is this mischance. Destroyer almost killed immediately. Guard coming in, but not finding the targets here and will just be annihilated in the air. Eaten though, but that was super fast. The Abominations are falling too. This time he's not opting for the hero kill. The Lich seems is. to be a little too Where far away. Going for the panda, but there's a staff of the Keeper of the Nova. Rope. Just wants to get him away. Nova can't reach Riju. No dispel against that. Panda has a super tank with that. Maybe switching the focus to the Keeper of the Grove. with no TP. Tinker's following this one. The Hippogriff's completely useless at the moment. Is the Keeper exposed in the back? Or oh, opening up this way with Treants. Nice idea by Moon. Seems like the Haunted Gold Mine is falling here. Happy trying to find some hero kill somewhere, but the Haunted, not dead yet, but it's so many bears. He doesn't have the damage output to deal with these bears anymore. We have another Pocket Factory coming in. Nova, Panda. maybe. Oh. Finds it, but no follow up. Is there a little bit of more right clicks? He needs it. Does not get it. Keeper survives. Haunted Gold Mine does not. Happy finds himself in a 27 supply deficit. And Moon is getting close to 5-5, the Korean. Always knowing when to push and always knowing which is more important, I think, when to retreat. That was Happy's one mistake, right? He got a 
oh, all right position, perhaps a bit of a lead, but then didn't use the TP in time. Lost the Lich, lost so much of his army. So what now? And lost Mine the out the main... Uh, no, he's establishing the expansion once chat. again. This is the specialty of Echo Isles. The second gold mine is not endless as it is on Amazonia. So if you hold on and let your opponent mine it out and babysit your expansion, you could be the one with income later in the game. But that will take some time as Moon's expansion was all so disrupted and he had no wisdom there for a long time. Happy has the upper hand of the Blight. Happy has the upper hand of the Narub Tower and the faster reinforcements if Moon is positioning a little differently than before. But all the other advantages are in the hands of the fifth race. He's gonna get level 5 here, perhaps even a double level 5s and yet the upgrades. He can easily afford it. He's been on two bases for so long. It's gonna be 2-2 two, two on Bears, Dryads, and Hippogriffs. This is a big advantage for Nile in the late game. Kind of all the units you want share the same upgrade type. The Hippogriffs don't do too much, but they kind of stop any destroyer play. You saw it in the last fight, how fast they were jumping on this Destro, and then it's not really worth to coil it, right? Double invul potion for Moon. He is so ready for this. Happy is not. More A-bombs. And a gargoyle Darks. once again. These gargoyles haven't done s too much just yet. Well, it gave some mana to the lid. That's True. it. Heal scroll and invul and a mana potion. Mana potion, the most important thing, maybe. And seeing the hero focus before on the lid, this invul as well. It's a lot about positioning. Moon, of course, knows that Happy is not mining from two mines and he has to catch up. This is a lot of time for him. Plays it patiently, claiming shop control once again, but he's actually slot starved. How many bears does he have, I wonder? Five, six. It's not that many. If the bears all die, it doesn't matter if there's hippos in the air. With the dryads left only, you can't do much. Two destroyers, one statue only. He has to s watch this. Awesome positioning again on the pocket factory. Yeah, again blocking this. This is so strong. Guard. 73 supply suddenly for happy. Where did this come from? I wonder how much is still in production. Moon is pushing again. Wants this 1-0 right now. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire. Is there a dispel? Not so much. And there is Misses from the Lich now, who's taking quite some damage. In the middle of all the bears again, retreats and catches the coil. Waiting for the Nova once more, using it on the Keeper of the Grove. Actually, heal potion used very quickly. Hippos find the damage towards all of these destroyers in the air. The destroyers are all gone. No more dispel now for Happy. Can he do it even without against the Keeper of the Grove? That would be massive. Panda in the back, taking a lot of damage. Drunken Age Brother Fire also returning a lot of damage on the undead side. The A-bombs also close to dying. Ultimates kind of far away. Actually, the Panda not too far away, honestly. Going for the hero again. This narrow tower is putting in a lot of work. It's going to be the invul forced here pretty soon. Both heroes so close of dying. And Earthstorm and Fire is pretty close as well. Coil dodge with an invul. Moon so strong. Level 3 on the Tinker now, but that exposes the Panda. Does he have the damage? Nova is ready, but another invul use. Seven seconds. Where's the coil on the lid? Doesn't have that. Dodges the Breath of Fire with an invul. Not falling for this now. Seven seconds needs the healing and the regen, but it's only one statue there. The bears are moving forward. It's a 30 supply lead. Coil is ready. Keeper. Lich is the only savior here. TP out by Moon once more. Didn't kill the expo this time and gets the bear on the way out. But happy again, losing 25 supply. Yep. And Moon has a thousand gold. And chims are coming. Oh boy. And if the A-bombs didn't have tough enough of a time earlier with Jims on the way, it looks like it's the end. Happy amazingly has been holding on for so long. Most other undeads would have crumbled a long time ago with this wave after wave of Nile of Attack. You're not giving this game up if there's the slightest chance of taking the win. Happy seems to be like not getting any experience at all. The progress on the Lich since the Tinker arrived, it's basically non-existent. Yeah, true. Earthstorm and Fire will be a nice disable with Cyclone, and Taunt will be great as well, and of course the damage from the Fire Panda is not uh, little as well. Whoa. Defense upgrades on the Abomination. Oh, yeah. Again, going into A-bombs. But these Chims, usually I am not a big fan of Chims at all. They get hard countered by Fiends very, very easily. Happy not going for fiends. We have no fiends. And without this piercing damage, it's really hard to take it down. 
Main gold mines dry. I would love to know how much gold is left in Moon's expansion. That is the key. Can Happy hold on until that mine runs out? That's his win condition. Yeah. Hold one more time, two more times, maybe three more times, and then Happy could still win this. But this is the hardest attack he had to face yet. Treants in the main. They won't do too but much, I think. Well, with illusions, will Happy realize? Or it's only one chim, right? Yeah. It's honestly not that much damage. But it, you need to prioritize this, otherwise the A-bombs will just uh, melt, and that takes damage away from everything else. Pushing again for the victory. No destroyers at all. Hippos are kind of useless at the moment. Big Breath of Fire, Drunken Haze coming in towards the A-bombs. But yeah, only one chim is real. The damage here is still good, but not too crazy. But Roar coming in as well also now. And no dispel against any of this. Did Hard to trouble. see what's going on, honestly. Where is the coil? Is it ready? We are not close. Uh, we are still close at level 6, but Happy taps out. Moon continues his rampage against the Undeads in this tournament. Three maps in a row against 1-2-0. And now the jump start on Echo Isles for him here as well. Ooh, but what a banger of a start. Yeah. Honestly, pretty lucky by Moon. He got his expansion delayed by so much, or rather the Entangled destroyed and the mining disrupted by so much. Happy could have just TP'd out. He could have just double click TP'd, go to his expansion and hunker down. Turtle, make mass army. But he had such a bad engagement in the middle of the map, losing the Lich, falling so far behind, and then not able to uh, yeah, be close in supply. But this, once again, as it was the story of the tournament, one step too far by Happy, a little bit too greedy when he had the lead, and the opponent slaps back and then starts the snowball. That is pretty easy to fix by playing a little more conservatively in the mid game. Of course, he won't stop being aggressive at the start. This would be the anti Happy strat. But I think it was an okay start so far for Happy. Yeah, making it close still. Um, almost able to weather the storm there, almost able to hold on. That Lich, almost single-handedly, <laughs> kept him in that game. He's not going to get a Lich like that again. Very unlikely. Yeah. But going to be able to rely more on his army later. I think he had a hard read on Mass Dryads. Yes, and that was a lot of investment into the Abominations with a double Slaughterhouse. That's so rare to see in this matchup. Yeah. Against Mass Dryads, the Mass A-Bombs, but perhaps a couple of Meat Wagons behind, along with one or two Destroyers, is really good. But against Hippogriffs, if he's not going Mass Dryads, if he's going Hippogriffs, the Destroyers will die so quickly, and winning an A-Bomb versus Bear fight without the spell is basically impossible. Yeah. Uh, A-Bombs aren't bad, but Bears are better. They have Roar, they have Rejuvenation, and of course, to make matters worse, the Keeper also has plenty of spells which you need to dispel. I feel Moon was really, really, really fast and on point with his transitions. I feel he wanted to play Mass Dryads because he always wants to play Mass Dryads, realizing Happy goes into Mass Abom, switches quickly to Bears, sees, okay, these Destroyers are pretty good, let's build some Hippos. Happy wasn't ready for the Hippos, and that's yeah. where his game really went downhill when he had no Dispel anymore, when he lacked the magic damage against the bears and the Dispel against everything else. Absolutely. And he never recovered from the six simple play by Moon. He played some Gargs, but come on. You can't, play, you can't start playing Gargs 15 minutes into the game. Yeah. You Especially can't get the crypt. numbers on one Crypt, exactly. Something also to be pointed out by Moon, his Hippo control was actually outstanding. Yes. He didn't just A-click them in, where they all clump up when the Undead kites back, then one Nova comes in, hits everyone. He was actually spreading out the Hippogriff, sending them in in waves, so the Lich doesn't get this insane value from the Nova. Also, lots of entangled targets were on the Lich. He knew he couldn't get the kill, but he was preventing right clicks, for good reason, with how crazy the right click was from that Lich. Moon grabs the lead like TH did earlier, in this best of five. Happy's uh, third, fourth lost map in this entire tournament. Korea versus Russia continues. Moon 
took the lead against Foggy last year as well, and it worked uh, like a charm. Will Happy be able to counter quicker than the Ukraine last time? Concealed Hill is the pick of the Emperor. The fifth race had a good start, but now it's Happy's map choice. Map number two. Will it be match points right away for Moon after this one? CH Happy's first pick. What will we see? Moon had a very specific build earlier against 120 seemed to be kind of designed for an important game we don't see that normally too often with a fast tech to tier two couple of huntresses with a hunter's hall and then an expansion very passively very safely on his next to his main basically which was later but was safe and then a transition into dryads that cat is out of the bag though happy saw that game happy is aware of this possibility but that has always been moon one of Moon's big strengths, he has such a big playbook, so many strats to draw from, so many different variations to go for. It is going to be an expansion, there's no question about that. But when's it going to be? Yeah. What's the backup of the units going to be? What's the endgame composition going to be? That is all unclear. The one thing you do know is that Moon will be going to two bases. It's pretty much a styles clash, because Happy oftentimes very one-dimensional builds. This was not the case on Echo, though with those double slaughterhouses and mass abominations. And then, of course, he wants to win the games with micro. The player's forces are under attack. While Moon, more of a macro play player, dodging fights, go to the very late stages, and then accumulate enough forces to finally beat you somehow. And that's exactly what happened. He got the superior numbers. That's how he won. He also controlled well. Don't get me wrong. But Moon had a big lead in that game for a very long time. Happy had a, sh had a lead for a short time in that game and gave it away. Can't afford to do that again. No, not against Moon. Absolutely not. He was the one giving his opponents uh, quite an upper hand in early games with a couple of mistakes uncharacteristically for him, but he did. And was punished for it, but oftentimes didn't lose the map because of it. Happy needs to punish him harder than anyone has before because Moon had still not lost a single series compared yes. to Happy. Has looked a little shaky at times, but in the end, the world champion always prevailed. Wisp Scout here, confirming where the opponent is. Keeper not being greedy, not moving across the map with level 2 for this camp to be done by the Archer and the Treants only. No, doing it with the hero is going to be faster as well for him. Second item for him is the cloak. Pretty unfortunate items early on for Moon so far. Happy starts with the claw again. This rings a bell, doesn't it? Happy oh not yeah. going to try a last hit here, as he did earlier. Creeps this already with one archer? Happy knows. Two archers, I guess. But the DK is not in position to do anything about this. Is it the first time that Happy is wow. not harassing, by the way? Um. Against Night Elf, sometimes he will do this, creep one or two camps first. Uh, I think why he especially did it so uh, yeah, deliberately. Wait a minute, last hit? No way. Okay, Keeper gets it. <laughs> that would have been the craziest, man, with an Acolyte. Acolyte block here as well, a little bit against the Keeper. Yeah, why he did it against, uh, on the first map on Echo, this is a bit of, was a bit of a, a greedy camp with the Merc camp first, so the there was certainly an opening to be aggressive. But Moon realizing, okay, you're on the other side of the map. I have scouted this with a Wisp, so I can go at least for the big item-carrying guy. More tankiness for him isn't the greatest, really, for a Keeper. For a second hero, though, could be nice. All right. Yeah, especially if you want tankiness for a Panda. Oh. That would be great. Whoa, this tree very far in the back, close to the main. Can, there is a skeleton with that little froggy. I don't think he has the damage, though. He has no rot in his way. Yeah. Here comes the detonate. Not enough damage. And Tangle comes in. Actually, he doesn't even need it. Yeah. All right. It was a bit of damage, additional damage, but not enough because it's only the DK harass. So it's looking kind of similar like the game against 120 earlier with the expansion over there on the other side of the river. Very safe, but no Huntresses. We have Archers this time around. DK with the Tele staff, looking to be more disruptive, more annoying. Keeper not yet level 3. That's the big level up for him, the big power spike. DK already with the 
anti-entangle staff to get out of there. I don't think he wants to jump on anything because there's nothing roaming around here with the absence of skeletons. But he knows what's up. Does he know the timings exactly? Not too the sure. Lich second, tier three, slaughterhouse. Only one this time. The DK again attacking the tree a little bit. It looks like Happy's kind of wasting a lot of time. Very inefficient late early game here by him. Not the much being accomplished. Hunter's Hall again, and did he see it this time? It's late. This is really late. Yep. Keep a level three though. There we go. That is the big level up. And the Panda second again. Okay, worked out fine on map one. Didn't do anything in the match against 1 2 0. And it is the double, double slaughterhouse slaughter again. again. Now the quest... Oh, okay. Moon scouted immediately. This expansion should... Uh, will it be even later than before? Are under oh, that's pretty cool. Stepping over to the ghouls, which were already starting the camp. Gonna get him close to level 3. But this is the nice thing now about Moon having crept part of this natural earlier. If it was still there in its entirety, a creep jack once again could be very scary, like it was earlier against 1-2-0. But now, the rest of it is easy to take. Ghouls, very close to dying. Retro potion, nice to have. Dryad production starts late, giving Happy a jump start on oh, Abominations. Will Moon go into tier 3 again? Against 1 to 0, we've not seen this once. We saw the 5 Archer plus Panda solo creeping on Echo be very effective. Should be harder to make work here. Creep camps here are harder in general. Could perhaps go for the merchant, but not, not even that one is easy. Going for the lab, can't do that without an Ancient of War. Going anywhere else, also kind of impossible. So the panda should have a tougher time getting to level 3 here. Happy, of course, knows that the tree is on the way. With four skeletons, two of them are about to expire, but new ones have been summoned. Panda is able to defend this alone, I oh guess. Oh my god, can he get the kill? Nice. There's quite a bit of damage. I don't think so. Where are the wisps? Coming in. Breath is nice. Wisp are again not coming in. But he's switching the focus to the Archer to reduce the number. Nice. Shadow Melt. Perfect Shadow Melt indeed. Big one of mana ceiling right there. No second Nova. Statue coming in now though. That is more mana and more HP. Can't get the kill. Destroy us early. To get the dispel. Dryad's coming. No tier 3 this time. All right, happy. Is he going to go all in against this now, or is he going to again try to counter expand? I think he kept all ghouls alive. Maybe he lost one. Perhaps? He lost a lot of health, that's for sure. But they're recovering, of course, on blight. Statues, three of them, and the destroyer. Mm -hmm. Is it third hero time for happy? I think I would. Another nova, great. another kill onto an archer. I think his heroes are just too low at the moment to be able to afford a third hero. No dispel just yet. Oh, the Panna! Walking very far forward. Yeah, no staff. Destroy upgrade should be ready in a second. And then he can dispel finally. Uh, two coils used immediately. Damage of the Lich is lacking now. And the first destroyer is up. Dispel immediately against the Treants. So here we have additional damage for the Russian. DK almost level 3. There's still enough creeps remaining here to get him that level 3. Expansion about to start mining, but not quite ready yet. And abominations are coming. This time the destroyer transition was a little earlier. Not the 34 supply disease cloud A-bomb build by Happy. In Wolf for Happy as well. That's important. Panna now is going to have a tougher time going towards the lab. Panna feels forced into a heal potion already. Mm -hmm. Scared of the damage. Is this level 3? Is this is the question. This is important. Solo creep. Could Should be. be enough, I think. And of course, Moon was buying time with that skirmish in the middle for this expo. It starts to pay off now. Happy is uh, creeping the same one. The consumable here can make a massive difference. Greater mana, the dream. And Moon gets it. Happy, big invul. <laughs> Moon gets it again. Seventh time in the <laughs> round of eight, and now today that the opponent of Happy gets a big mana push. Going for the red camp, but he may not necessarily have the time for this. At least the big boy should be doable, though, with the entangled focus. That's not enough for level 3 panda, though, I think. Early upgrade for the Dryads, but okay, it's not going into mass. Happy is pushing, Moon sees this with this wish. The first abomination is there. Entangled or immediately for the tree? What's the play? 
is under siege. Claws plus 12, that's not going to be so good in the panda, but the greater mana certainly is. But still, the not ghouls the again. The ghouls again. Lich is level 2. Nova doesn't hit that hard. TP comes in. Is he what for once just right TP. clicking? T yeah, tell your staff. Happy realizes this. Nova comes in. Not much repair. He is. Is he right clicking this now? He could he commit. Did, he didn't do that for a long time. He wants to get rid of the repair first. Here comes the A bomb damage and he gets rid of the tree. Fight or get out. Staying in this for now and why not hitting another Nova there onto the archers, even coiling a ghoul actually. And the A-bombs, he doesn't have the damage to deal with them. The ghouls are starting to drop low, even with the Devourer coming in, getting rid of that experience gain at least. Good dry control as always, but here comes the next A-bomb. How is he supposed to deal with all this oh HP? God, the Lich is cleaning house here, was just turning around, getting a double kill, and now Happy is chasing with that Unholy Aura. Moon trying to react with the Tier 3, yeah. bringing in yeah, these bears, as was uh, so successful on Echo Isles, but maybe that is too late, because there's no double income anymore. Moon actually on low upkeep, so only seven gold per round. And now, time to kill the shop that would prevent the staff and potions and Orb of Venom. At least the staff would be great for Moon. Doesn't have the gold, it's close. Kills it before. The mana for Happy is also still looking so good. He has so many more Novas, so many more coils. Can't use it against the Drives, but certainly against the Heroes. Panna now in the front line. Has to be careful. One more kill is a level up for the Lich, for the next level in the Nova, the second point. Ten. Moon can't fight. He can't fight even with Moonwells. Exactly. Happy was positioning himself nicely, and Moon is losing so many down. HP, uh, so much HP. That is level three for him. The Lich is a Gatling gun and kills Dryad after Dryad. The Abominations are just not falling. And the positioning of Happy was so great, Meat Wagon is coming in, that Moon was not able to get to a majority of these Moon Wells. Oh, Double kill. oh. what a split! It's Moon, it's ladies moon, and gentlemen, it's Moon. Of course. But the Dryads are walking through the disease. It's almost kind of worth it. Needs a heal scroll soon. Happy Night has time. a thousand gold as he continuously staying on 50. And now Moon is tier 3, but supply stuck. He can't go for bears. He's healing up at the fountain. He needs this. Everything is so hurt for him, thanks to the disease. But in the main, everything is getting slaughtered. Second Moonwell is dead already or killed already. Third one, that is 480 gold for you. And he needs more time. More A-bombs. A-bombs, indeed. Even ghouls for the lumber, as he has a uh, yeah, little problem with that. That right. wagon didn't do too much, but it, it does Oh, drag. level three. Level three, OK. Players forces are under Against A-bombs though, not that impressive damage. Happy oh. staying in this, in the middle of everything, trying to nuke the panda, but I guess it's not enough. The disease cloud once again spreading, everything is hurt. Lich is almost untouched, this is just a slaughter. Heal scroll being used super early, destroyer safe once more by the coil. This is all the mana in the world for Happy to use, save above the trees, not really working, but last hit against the Dryad. Level up for the DK, and now he's nuking the panda. This is looking really good. Oh boy, a demonstration of force by Happy as he equalizes the series, and it's it's now a 1-1. One, one. All right, getting the equalizer there. Look a little sketchy there for Happy. The early game seemed to be pretty solid for Moon. Got the expansion up fairly quickly, not that quickly. Went for the tier 3 tag again. Once again, Moon ready to transition. In this game, he didn't have enough to hold on then. But I don't know. Let's say he doesn't spend that 350 or so gold for the tech. That would be two more Dryads. Is that enough to hold? Probably not, right? I don't really think so. This double slaughter into two to three A-bomb timing is looking really strong. You just don't have the numbers yet. You don't have the focus fire damage yet to take out these high HP targets. Of course, A-bombs, not the most right-click damage really, but against these low HP units, the Dryad, the Disease Cloud is doing a tremendous job. And yeah, this is what you get if Happy goes for this double slaughter and you don't transition fast enough. That was the problem here. No damage, really. But I don't think he could find enough damage like, in any way. Like, what's he supposed to do? Go archers against Frenzy Ghoul and Lich? I don't know. Faster bears, less dryads. He didn't have the time. He was going tier 3. He couldn't do it fast. Yeah, but he was on, like, 10 dryads. Well, so. The attack was uh, definitely later than on Echo. But they're also happy he went for the counter expansion, right? He didn't put everything into the attack. True. He was also creeping up more to level 3 on the Lich. Um, I don't think you can play this much more greedily, taking earlier to tier 3. And also, if he takes tier 3, 
maybe it's gonna have two bears, but that also means fewer dryads. Yeah. 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 Right. That was Happy's map, though. I don't want to jinx anything, but we have had uh, two one ones so far. Mm -hmm. TH took the lead, lost. One two zero took the lead, lost. Who took the lead here? By the pattern, by the way. Is there a pattern, maybe. A big uh, determining factor on Concealed was the difficulty of creeping. That is always the case on Concealed. Early level 3 Panda did a lot of heavy lifting in the last game. You just can't do that on Concealed. On Solo Panda, plus 5 Archers can't easily creep to level 3. It's just not doable on that map. So, yeah. I guess reasonable counter pick by Happy. That looked good and Concealed, despite not the greatest early game for him. It was okay and all. But not like he stormed away with every, with anything. All right, well, once again down to a best of three match <laughs> remaining for us. <laughs> I'm so happy that even in the World Championship final, you're still going for that. <laughs> it's a back to Warcraft classic. I can do sports classic in general, so why not? We have AZ, Northern, and Twisted remaining. I would say it's AZ time now. But it was close against one two zero, so. Yeah, I think AZ is still a re really good map. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me to see that here. Man happy, what a journey. Alright, Boon has lost the map. Time to take a toilet break here. We may be in for a five minute wait. Yeah, he seems to be still thinking about stuff. Considering, considering. It's not looking relaxed at all. Last time here at Shanghai we had this insane base race in map number four where Moon had the lead already and was basically the last building but Foggy made it a series there. That was a best of seven. Trimmed it down a bit. That was an absolutely insane game on Northern Isles. We already saw an absolutely insane game earlier on AZ against 1-2-0. That was a base race for the ages. That's the trophy. Will it be the second throne in Moon's household, or will it go to Russia? To Moscow. Looks like it belongs there. So everything's frozen, and the undead Lich King resides. In Russia? Yeah, Happy. Ah, okay. Yeah, Happy, in case you're tuning in late, surpassing the legendary dead man as the most successful Russian player of all time. The last time a Western player won a major championship was, of course, Mr. Grubby, back in 2009, almost wow. 10 years ago, nine and a half now. The last time a Russian won a championship, I mentioned this yesterday, Code 5, 2005. Seems like it's time. It's long overdue. Yes. Moon was the curse lifter. Here in Shanghai, the Gold League was owned by Chinese players. TH, Infi, 1-0, Fly. No one was able to break them, not Foggy, not Lin, but Moon last time. Alrighty, map number three. Amazonia is the pick for the fifth race. Who's gonna get match points? Is it the champion or is it the challenger from Russia? This is Keeper Valley, but 1-0 challenged him to the very, very, very limit. It can't get much closer than the Moon versus 1-0 game was. Absolutely. With that Mass Fiend, dual hero, high level, kiting gameplay, which Happy is also certainly capable of doing. Is that what's gonna be happening here or will it be a different strat? Honestly, that should be the play. It's very strong with the Keeper. You move instantly to level two, easily get to level three. Expansion behind, which is safely protected. Looks like a very strong opening by the Night Elf, which usually leads into a good position to the mid and late game. It's up to the Undead here to come up with something special, with a bit of a specific build, a good idea to deal with this very powerful strategy of the Night Elf. One to zero was trying to interrupt this creep. Moon again, not going for the greedy engine of war, positions it a little more careful, knowing that this is a possibility to uh, drag out the creeps with the ghoul to make damage against the engine of war. Happy is not doing that. Happy is focusing most likely on himself. Will go for the trolls into harass. I think this means he cannot prevent level two on this map. Or will he start focusing on his own levels for once? I mean, he did it on CH a little. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah the thing is, nicely. here, if you harass on level 1 with the DK, you really can't prevent level 2. So already, this would be a much weaker level 1 harass than on many other maps, than basically on any other map. So I would not be surprised to see Happy creeping to the level 2 right away, especially since Lightning Shield can also be made use of by the undead, as we've been seeing more and more this year. The Acolyte here for harass. A last hit steal, of course, would be tremendous. Hard to make work, though, and honestly, Moon has to make a mistake and give him the opening okay, for that to be allowed. DK Keeper, no Demon Hunter, no Warden, but those were not Warden. Well, Echo was, but didn't decide to go for it. And Happy starts with the Lightning Shield creep. Works. And if you want to find out how that works, we have a tutorial video by Mr. Remo Devo on our YouTube. Cheap plug. Claws plus six for the Keeper. Will Happy find the Claw for the third time in a row? Also Intelligence Tome here for the Keeper of the Grove. That's his level two right away. Happy not denying any last hits. The Ring of Protection only for him, which is absolutely not what he wanted, but Amor is also somewhat valuable. He's level two already, so he killed a Wisp somewhere, I guess. Otherwise, he wouldn't be there already. One Wisp pill, of course, not the end of the world, but it is one Wisp less. Plus nine for this Keeper. Plus 10, actually, with the Tome. Oh, yeah. So that's the great nuts. against Ghouls. Yeah, that's basically the best you can get. And the last hit. Not going to the creeps, but to Moon. Good opening for the Korean once more. Happy making his way over with the skeletons. Can he prevent level 3? And if yes, for how long? Tech coming in. Could still be an expansion behind. I would certainly expect it to be. Moon not making use of his mana here for a long while. Here comes the second Ziggurat. This is the Happy special build. Early graveyard, couple of ghouls, late second ziggurat. So hard for Happy to take out any ghouls onto the map. He's scouting for an expansion. He is, is perhaps considering the possibility of trying to cancel it. The Wisp was already moving there. Yeah. So what does he? What kind of information does he get from that? Did he see it as A, th the first question? Yeah, but I, he, he must think it's coming up. It's This yeah. is so standard and this is so strong. Not much reason for the Knight of Honestly not to go for this. And again, he's continuing to creep towards level 3, and with his creep positioning, he's at the same time keeping the expansion safe. This is why Players this is so strong. Happy very close to scouting it, but that's the thing. If you scout it, it may not be the best call to try to come in to cancel it. You're going to lose a lot of ghouls if you commit to this Tree of Life. Yeah, because it's so protected and so close. And Moon is not going out on the map at all. Okay, now with the Keeper a little, but there's also nothing to grab for him, so he's creeping the Murlocs. The safe spots are basically all gone. You can drag out the Goblins, that's all right, with Entangle and Surround. That's how Moon the made the Keeper so attack. strong on AZ in the first place. Nice deny. And most likely the second one as well. This plus damage is really good for the Keeper. Yeah. Really, really good in the early game. Good creeping at the same time in the bottom right. Now Moon yeah. is moving out of his comfort zone. Happy perhaps reading it though. If he gets entangled here, it's very obvious. The archers are around the corner. Moon is saving a lot of mana. I like that. Happy is at a thousand gold? Yeah, he's stayed on his four or five ghouls, hasn't made anything else just yet, it seems. Level 3 Keeper, boom, here we go, that's the big level up. Okay. Just became a lot stronger. Gotta be careful now. Okay, it's time to produce for Happy as well. Lich, Tier 3, Slaughterhouse, pretty much all at the same time. But he's gotta be careful. There's no staff this time on the DK. It's not that easy to get out, and for the first time in this series, we have Mass Air. With the double wins and double the Demon Hunter second again, like it was earlier on LR against 1 to 0. Lightning Shield here being used by the creep. Not what Happy, Happy wanted to see. Kind of difficult to creep now, but he's only sniping the item. The robe is very good for the yeah. second hero Lich. And more attack speed with the slippers as well. So already a welcoming inventory for the damage dealer of the Undead Army. Moon is creeping up his expansion without uh, tree support. But, of course, the damage lands on the Trian, so that's fine. He's saving so much mana on his keeper. Yeah. Pretty cool, but costs him some HP. Skeleton scouts, but the Lich is too late to really go for the big creep deck, which would have been the opening. Um, DK's only harass there against Entangle doesn't do much. 
So is it time for a second hero for Moon? Will he see the Alchemist for the first time? Demon Hunter Ooh. again. Exactly. I wonder if Happy saw the games against 1-0 to, to know that this is a possibility, or did he focus on his own game and grind at the Nettie's ladder, maybe to get a third account into the top three? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine he saw those games, though. Like, if, ha if Moon is playing against an Undead and you know it, obviously, would be kind of foolish not to watch those games. If you didn't see the semi-final between Moon and uh, one 0 this Demon Hunter second play caught one 0 by surprise and he had no answer to that. Yeah. Always running into the mana burn, had nothing to work with. Demon Hunter, of course, good right clicks as well, not easy to nuke. And the second hero pick basically got him the game. So, sends out the Lich. Nice. Is that enough? Yeah. Yep. Well, how many times did you... Uh, uh, were you angry at pro players for not doing that? Happy now in the most important game of his year. Oh, this Creepjack could be promising. Level 3 DK, plenty of damage from that level 2 call. Gets the first kill right away. Keeper also pretty hurt. And Tangle to slow things down. Nova calls ready as well. Oh, Whoa! that dodge! Oh, what a play by Moon. Mounting Hippo onto... Hippo Riders, of course, the mountaining dodge. But the creep spot did not get to Moon. Still up for grabs. Both second heroes with great damage. Pooling the fiends in the main. Yeah. Going for Frenzy. I'm pretty sure before Web, the two fiend Frenzy Ghoul timing attack. We've seen this plenty of times now. But it's going to be hitting after the expansion has started mining. I think that has already been gathering up some gold coins. Happy loves going Dark Ranger third with this. Well, I would like to time. see maybe Naga, actually. But he also has a tendency of dying. Happy doesn't even have the gold for a third hero right now. Can he get the steals with coils? Again, he's finding Moon. The second sign that he knows exactly what's up. Moon with a mistake. This archer misrallied. Coil again. I would love to have a coil kill counter on Happy. Claws for the Lich. Yep. Number two, basically, with the, the rope being plus six as well. Here comes Web. It's a fast upgrade, so he can queue that in. 51 supply already for Moon. Finds himself in upkeep early on. Demon Hunter is going to be the spearhead of this army. He's going to be taking possibly a lot of damage. That's why he has the heal pot already. We have the first destroyer now. Web just finished. Lots of damage towards this tree. Detonates coming out. If he burns the DK dry, this should be a good fight for Moon. Starting off with that right away. Nova into the back. The spell against the entangle coming in pretty quickly. Last coil coming in. No more healing now from the DK. Already out of mana. Nice detonates, man. Oh, that was fast. But Happy gets some kills without losing too much. Now ghouls, but they're disposable anyway. He gets rid of the air. That's the most important thing. At least the hippo riders to get rid of the DPS. Sends the ghouls away. Distracts the demon hunter with this. No mana wow. potion, of course, but this micro is just outstanding. In the late game, tier 3, nobody pays attention attention to frenzy ghouls they just die <laughs> except nope. happy nope nope he has a love for these units against orc against night elf so much value the statue might be gone here again mana burn for 38 lich has also nothing to work with it's only right clicks by happy is he overestimating uh, underestimating his strength again or his sustain no he's just killing stuff not too many fiends left though. There's one more entangle ready, aiming for that fiend. The spell will be there, but it's too late for the save. Fiend will be falling. Happy needs level four for the level two aura, I think. He's close, he gets it. Okay, can he chase now or at least run away? Looks like Moon is getting double kill here if he's gets somehow in range, but two more kills for Happy if he follows through, through with this. He seems to be happy to trade fairly equally, but man, he like got rid of five supply lead or something. Happy's very close to another big level up, level 3 Lich almost. And for now, Moon going back to the main. He used a lot of Wisps, I think, earlier yeah. there in the gold mine. Yeah. But he still seems to be mining decently well. No statue at the moment for Happy. Big problem. He needs those statues at all times to provide the region from the back. A lot of fairies coming in. Happy has to retreat again. He's a little greedy, doesn't want to use the town portal. And willing to fight, apparently, without mana. Mana burn should be coming in against the Lich very soon to prevent that Nova. No, ends up on the DK, DH. Level 2 aura very, very helpful right now. The Destroyer a little too far forward. Quickly enough with the move away, but still no coil, remember. Demon Hunter, though, also dropping lower HP. The damage from the Lich is starting to add up. Now he's level 3. And this level 2 aura, dude, is saving him so many units. 
crazy, but this one will fall. The Demon Hunter again out of the fight. Maybe a chance for more kills as the Keeper isn't here yet. The Destroyer save, you saw it in the bottom left of the screen. So crazy how much he is able to save. Oh, oh he had a second there to use the coil, but he got burned a little too slow by Happy for once. The Destroyer's gonna fall, yep, but he can morph more. On. Lich is being under attack a little. Damage is ending up on those fairies. Still three webs. Happy is not kiting though. Losing this one sacrifices it for more mana, which will be the burned demon? soon. The demon is out of the fight soon with the staff. But more kills for Happy. But Moon's supply plummeting down to 44 yep. only. Happy at 44 himself. He had a pretty much a 10 supply lead starting this fight in the first uh, first engagement. A player's forces are under more Keeper statues. with a mana potion now. Wow. This is starting to look a lot like that game earlier against 1 to 0. Of course, the second hero differs with the demon compared to the alchemist from earlier. But other than that, pretty similar. So One of Illusion can be really nice. Put that on the DK and suddenly you don't know which DK target to burn anymore. DK is 475. He yep. is close to the level 3. And Moon, only 50 supply with this mass air army. You want to be at least at 60. You don't want to have to fight before that. Straight up battles with mass air are not working. We've seen 1 to 0 fighting this with 20, 25 supply deficits. So now, is it time to kill the expansion or will Moon react? TP in or will he let it die? TP. He wants to hold it. He's level 3. Big level up yep. for him on the demon. Double Invo potions. True. And here we go. The big fight. Will Happy be able to kite? There's no mana potion on the DK, but a coil. No mana burn here. Against the DK, at least. Now. The illusions all taken out pretty quickly, but plenty of fiends still left alive. The Lich in the front line getting the level up, and so is the DK. Level 5 already. Must be Aura at this point, actually. Dashing out the Nova immediately as soon as he had the mana. That might be the last one in this fight, actually. Statues far away from the hero, but the webs are coming in, and he prevents this damage. The fiends are out of range of the statues, though. That's a little problematic, but they use their web. That's nice, and he finds the way back. They're so fast! To safety? No, they don't. Level 3 aura, I'm pretty sure it is. Making them so quick. The Keeper dropping lower there as well somewhat. The Fairy Dragons though all disappearing. And here you can see there's a severe lack of damage. Not even Acid Bomb in this. The Demon Hunter can never connect with his damage. He's always just chasing. He's Keeper always just being guided. Has no TP and no potion! What's he doing? Lich is not chasing, but he is definitely out of this fight. More kills. He wants more experience. He wants that level 5 Lich. And he's Moon getting more kills. Supply. Moon is dropping lower. And more webs, no, more kills. No lumber, can't use Wisps really. Six fairies, that's ridiculous. That's nothing. And more and more fiend production coming in over and over. Double scroll of healing now on the DK. Well, if I can't heal with coils, I guess I heal with scrolls. <laughs> that's that's a good what he idea, says. Actually. Wait, isn't, isn't it level two aura? I think it's level three. I'm not sure. Love to see it though. It should be level three. Okay, more right clicks. Is it enough to break it? Moon is ready, seemingly. No staff on the keep uh, on on the demon hunter again. Opens this fight with a nuke on the keeper again. This time he has a potion, but will burn through this fast. Illusions here, confusing. Doesn't know which one the real demon hunter is, perhaps. But he doesn't have to aim for him. Now he knows the real one, though. Can't just take out the fairies. It's so easy to micro against this now. It's always a sign when the undead stops to kite and stays in the straight up battle. This is your game apparently. Moon is almost losing the Demon Hunter, staffs him out. No mana burn here Every anymore. Every fairy is webbed. Yep, there's no damage. The Keeper is the only source of damage. Level 5 for the G -G. lead. GG! Happy has <laughs> match points! <laughs> On one of the strongest maps for Moon, Happy still makes it work. This micro... How, I don't know, I need like a counter how often I set this in this tournament. How many units did he save in deep, deep, deep red HP range? This is so crazy. This is so crazy. That level 4 on the DK though came barely in time. The level 2 aura saving him so many units. Moon was close to spiraling out of control there. He was close to getting up to that 60, finding kill after kill. And then if he gets the burns rolling as well, there's going to be yeah, no mana to be used, no spells to be used on the undead side. Yeah, Moon making a duck face right now. <laughs> what happened that game? It felt like that game was going well. The Keeper started off with plus 10 damage after the first two creep camps. He got level 3 pretty quickly. He got the expo up easily. He didn't lose many archers at all. The Demon Hunter once again did good job burning. Got level 3 probably too late though. 
but he didn't lose heroes either. But he couldn't find the kills. The responses, the reactions, too fast. Happy is a kiting monster. Does that tell Moon to not play air anymore? 1 2 0 was already pretty strong against that when he yeah. was playing his A game. Happy. I think I have to say this stuff. He's a level above 1 2 0. With a micro, I agree. Happy one map away. One map away from the Western World Champion. First Western Gold League Champion ever. The first time he's here. The first time he is actually even here. Unbelievable. The first time he tries, the first time he's here, the first time playoff, the first time finals, the first time match points. The second undead only in the Gold League Grand Final after 1 2 0, of course. It's been there four times. Next map, Twisted Meadows, probably. Um, I think his map choice was Twisted, if I remember right. Yes. For Moon. Yes. So it is, must be Twisted. That is it then. Twisted will be coming. If he eliminates Moon, if he wins the championship on Moon Meadows, what a story. I wonder. Happy is not really the guy to uh, chat before a game starts. Really. Spread the word. We're at 9,000 viewers. We're <laughs> one map away. 9,000. Jesus. From a Western Championship. Nice of you to all tune in. This is pretty hype. Foggy was here twice. He didn't accomplish this. He didn't make it all the way through to yeah. first place. He had match points as well in the final against TH. Not against Moon, though. There he was absolutely without a chance being defeated 4 and 1. Seems like we get a little break here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. Oh, actually, looks like it's time to start again. Once again, we're basically here on our own cost. We got uh, the hotel and the flights, but apart from that, no casting fee or anything. So if you want to support us a little, feel free to use the Streamlabs link for a little tip via PayPal, credit card, or cryptocurrency. Also, we have an Amazon referral link. You can sub here on Twitch or buy our merchandise. All the important links in the stream description. Also, if you want to follow us on social media for the latest news about Warcraft 3 competitive and uh, whatever we do, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or join the lovely Discord community. Abby wants to make sure everything's right yep. with his setup. Yep. Gotta get that in. At this point, massive shout out to our mods who try to keep the chat clean, which is their hardest task to date as well, and everyone who was tickering for Liquipedia, the best uh, source for competitive Warcraft 3 tournaments. Wiki.backtowarcraft.com If you want to find some results of today and the past and even the future. Well, not results, but you know, what, what's <laughs> coming up. Another great source for Warcraft 3 information is Warcraft3.info. The name suggests it. Lots of news, lots of articles, lots, lots of statistics and a calendar to see what's coming up in the upcoming days. David has done a phenomenal job getting that homepage up and continues to improve there. So shout out to all the people in the back who support the Warcraft scene. Absolutely. Pretty cool how this game has been growing over the last couple of years. Since 2014, when WCA rolled around for all its many flaws, it at least uh, seemed to bring a dawn back to Warcraft. And now with Reforged on the horizon, of course, all of our hopes are very high. Reforged is supposed to come out this year. Happy seems to be getting into fighting shape at just the right time. Doesn't compete in most of the tournaments, but the ridiculous thing is, whenever he competes, he wins. And seriously, whoever wins here is without a doubt the strongest player in the world. There was no one yeah. who dodged a strong grid. This was very fair. Everyone played super strong opponents. The deserving player advanced in 99% of the cases. Yeah, especially happy thrill. It's like, happy thrill is so Dude, sick. He defeated Lin and Focus. Both. Yeah. He defeated the best orc players in the world. Yeah. He defeated on his way here TH, yeah. the best human player in the world. Yeah. If he defeats Moon, he defeats the best Nidal player in the world. 
Yeah, and he defeated Law Light, the second best Thailand player in the world as well. Yeah. So that is without a doubt the strongest player there is. If he if wins. He wins. If he wins. But Moon has insane comeback potential. We saw that in games against TH before. This best of five here, quite a bit of historic relevance. Warcraft history being written right here. The prestige, the honor, the fame, the glory, all up for grabs. And also a whole bunch of prize money. 30k for first place, 15k for second place. And we're about to head into map number four. Moon still on the quest to break the magical $550,000 prize money mark. He needs to win this or he's out. The Western scene has been here before. Yaws in 2015, Foggy twice at Gold League. They had match points as well, but they failed. Will Happy do better on Twisted Meadows? Big map, lots of expansions. Possibility to win this game through economy. That all sounds like exactly what Moon wants. It starts Whoa. off hard though. It starts off very hard. There's War no safe creep camps on this map. He is Ancient of War creeping yes. at the 9 o'clock position? Yes. He this is close spot. He's taking a risk. And he what a risk this is. He doesn't know where Happy is. Yeah, we saw Night Elves doing this more and more, going for the gold mine creep with the Ancient of War first, because in the middle, at the Knolls, it's too easy to scout and the merchant is too hard to do. Especially against Happy, it could be working out though. Happy has his own special build. He only has one Acolyte for scouting. He can't send out a ghoul for scouting because his crypt is late. He's going into Will the, the right Acolyte direction though. Normally, you don't look there. No. Normally, you just check the spawning positions. Yeah. Oh, but if he does, if he does, he, he kind of can eliminate a lot of options for the rest of the map. Yeah. He's not. All right. He sees the Wisp, he knows what's up. He knows where the, where the starting position is anyways. Yeah, yeah. So... He won't punish this engine of war oh early. Oh, he's going towards it though! This is such a great read. Moon did this before on other positions. He finds it. And there's a sheep here as well. Hello. Yeah. Not anymore. Gotta listen to Grubby cr kill all the critters. There's no way Moon can quit this. Not in a million years. No. What a start for Happy. This keeper is gonna be stuck on level one forever. Yeah. And this is the difficulty can be for Nidalf on this map. We oftentimes see Nidalf vetoing this map as well. Against one to zero, Moon vetoed this map. Not here though, because there is no safe camp to start with. Yeah. In theory, there's the green camp, but that's not even worth trying to go for because it's so tiny. And in the match of uh, one to zero versus Law Light, the Night Elf was stopped in five minutes. So there is definitely a reason why this is vetoed a lot. Doesn't even get the acolyte. Oh, does he? He has to die for it. Hunter's Hall. Early Hunter's Proxy. Hall. Yeah, wants to hide it. This will most likely not be seen. Okay. Happy. Moon wants to get a decently strong force out early Wait, with the hunts. No, he has oh, the AP pushing? No way. With one engine of war? Oh my god! With an engine of war. Double Rex hunts. Proxy. Wiss moving out already. Ooh, special wow. moon strat. What? Again? So much pressure on him. <sighs> he's about to lose his championship. Yeah. And he's playing double engine of war proxy. Will he... S will Happy to see that it's daytime, but the skeleton is haunting the archer. Good move by Moon to move yeah. it to the left to not reveal the wisps. Happy sees no tech though. Happy this sees this no must tech, mean yeah. either expansion or push. He sees the but wisps the in a sec. Oh my yeah. god, does he really see it? Are you serious? If he was watching what his acolyte is doing, then he absolutely knows what's coming. That was pretty lucky, honestly, with how the timing worked out there. But sometimes you need a little bit of luck. It's not 100% guaranteed that he sees it because True. he's still at the 6 o'clock. True. Oh, was he actually not looking at the minimap? He used to be a StarCraft now pro. He's he, sees the, he sees the Ancient of War. This is a massive tell. So what now? How to defend this now? He knows what's Second coming. Second crypt. crypt. Mass fiends, right? The town is under could be Garg as could, well. Could be Gargs, yeah. Keep the APs oh, from coming up. As long as they don't come up, the Gargs should have map control. Yeah. Oh boy. Old school undead. Oh wow. Gargoyles on Twisted. 
Steph for the DK now, so he can scout and harass and then get back when things get dicey. Moon has no lumber. Yeah, absolutely. And his supply stuck. How does he want to AP push yeah, without lumber? He instead. He's breaking. Oh boy. The game plan, I guess, for the second time in the series, disrupted yeah. very early on. Remember Echo Isles? <laughs> he built the engine of one next to the mercenary camp. Happy scouted this and he let go of it. Moon is on plan C right now. Yeah. He wanted to go for the creep first, that didn't work. Plan B, A pu AP push, that didn't work. Plan C, expansion after all. And at least the DK wasn't down here to harass, otherwise it would have been really, really painful. Zero experience. Yeah. On Level the DK. Yeah, here are the gargs. Oh boy. All right, second time we see this in this tournament. One to zero, played a garg, tier two, fake kind of, against Lord Knight, transitioned into fiends later. A Western uh, undead player defeating Koreans with guards. Does that ring a bell, maybe? Did he get the last hit? He did, I believe. Yeah. But the keeper still level two. But a very low mana now. DK hunting down these archers. Archer kills matter a lot. Archers are the anti air against the guards early on. But there's no dust, no apparently. Dust. Nope. Okay. She's fine. Okay, this could be a lengthy match. Two, first two Garks are out. Players forces are under attack. Or will he pressure Moon so much that he has to tap out early? Two Garks into Lich, as it seems. Is a good choice here by Happy. Saving still some resources. Sees the tech in the main has been going on for a while. Cancel on the expansion would be massive. I'm not sure that he has the damage, though. With but with, with two Garks, two skeletons, DK might be enough. This could become a very, very typical Moon game, though. With a hundred expansions yes. everywhere on the map, this yep. macro was what won him 34 tier one championships. Finally, a wisp here. Dead Nate. Oh, gets both of yep. them. Mistake Hooray. by Happy, not splitting them. And entangle against the DK. Does he have to get out early? Yes, the stab. Oh. This one skeleton. Would it have given him the kill? Staying in. I think entangle cooldown is done, so he has to run away. How fast, how far yeah. is this? And he was considering for a long time to go for more Gargs or for the Lich. In the end, it was the Gargs, but they're late. These also could have been much earlier. Yep. These two Gargs now earlier, plus the Skeleton, this would have been a cancel. He's still trying to get this one Garg. No, of course, Micro the way. I think he's going to get it, right? Only Lores. With the two additional ones, he, this has to be it. Yeah. Two, two of them hurt, but the new ones are coming in, and now he has the critical mass and kills the Expo. Nothing is working for Moon. Garg's hurt, though, but he needs more archers. He has double Ancient of War. They yeah. should be coming in pretty quickly. Nice. He's going for lores, like Dryads. Yes. He needs basically both, but he has no income to support that. Alchemist second. Very good against the Garg's early on. Yeah. Super late game plan does better, Town but early. Alchemist is Does what you want. Uh, the acid bomb go away if you use stone form? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Oh, the lore. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, Can man. he cancel this as well? Old school undead play. This is what we used to see back in 2010 all the time. So annoying for the Niles to deal with. But Moon, of course, has played against this plenty of times, and the lore comes through. He has four production buildings now. He's harassing in the main, but it's his additional experience for the DK. Or no staff. Kill. Yeah, DK needs level two badly. Not it is quite no there Lich. yet. Also pretty old school for Undead. To wait until a very high DK to build that second hero. Gargs, of course, very fast. Movement speed increase in the latest patch. And they are cheaper, so absolutely a solution here against Night Elf. Happy is supply stuck for now. Builds a ziggurat only now. A player's forces are under attack. Happy th uh, Moon, though, is not expanding. Yeah, I'm really surprised that no Tree of Life is coming up yet. He was, he still is low lumber. Really low lumber. Did he queue something? No. Dryads coming. Dryads are pretty lumber heavy. Ghoul's moving out. It looks like Happy is expecting another expansion. He's He's going for a frenzy push without the aura? That sounds crazy. <laughs> Maybe he can creep a little first. In a straight up fight, there's not much anti air. A kind of depends on how well he can connect to the archers. 
Happy creeping up the merchant as well. It's going to give him a heal scroll. That's a big deal. Perhaps a protection scroll as well. He has a lot of gold to be used as he. Oh, okay, can go to units now. But the last boots. Yeah. If you want to keep it for the Lich, maybe, but also a lot of gold. Keep them. The statue is such a big deal yeah. now. Lich is coming fast, but DK all of a sudden close to three. He's getting bonus experience here still. Going for the Dryads right away, but the Dryad movement so good oh, from Moon as we always know it is. Sick micro, 3 HP. We have Stoneform coming in. It's hard to take them out with Treants, maybe a little easier. Oh, Surround on the Alchemist. Ah, base barely makes it out. No mana anymore for an Executive Coil. Oh my god, Moon is kiting everywhere in yeah. 360 degrees. This is, <laughs> this is so well done. <laughs> DK just needs one kill for the level up, oh. which is probably going to be the oh, big. Big heal scroll though. Yeah. Really big. Acid bomb. Oh my connected. god, these saves. My th the third one. So close. But the Alchemist, can he connect? Why he he's seriously in every single direction he's saving units. Happy can't follow. Level three finally for the DK. But that was a tremendous beginning of this fight! Oh! The invul dodge! And Moon! The level up! Oh Holy my god! Crap. Does he have like 800 APM or something? He's doing everything right. Finally a dryad kill. But how long did this fight last until he finally lost something? Outstanding attack. performance. Yeah, that was insane. Wow. Is it the level 2 aura, by the way? I don't think it is. Me neither. He's not playing against the Demon Hunter, so he's not getting burned. Yeah. He should go for Coil 2 then. But there's still no expansion. You're yeah. supposed to play Expo at one point with his yeah, Dryad style. Must. Happy is facing. Like, Moon is going upkeep nonetheless. He saved so many units. That was... Dude, yeah. that fight by Moon. <laughs> <laughs> no question that he has the best Dryad control in the uh, world. Just unbelievable. Just the level of play in this grand final, in this top four, and if you include day two of top eight, also that is the best this year, most likely. Big item from the Merc Camp was the greater healing. Good, but still no greater... Mana, those are reserved for Happy's opponents. All of a sudden, Moon has a pretty big supply lead. There's another building coming up. Oh, transition. Into double slaughter mass A-bombs once again. And Happy trying for the exp Does a Happy expect an expansion? He's misreading this, perhaps. Maybe. Again, yes. He's gonna get back. Step! Lich has the orb, but no level 3. Needs some healing. There's no scroll. But okay, Moon is pushing into the base. Sees the double slaughter, oh. that's a tell. Yeah, and also an attack like this totally looks like an expansion. When the Night Elf attacks into your main, yeah. usually only done Moon's faking to this distract story. from an expansion. Also, the army kind of looks like an expansion at this point. Happy will not have a good position, but yeah, there's an expansion by Happy. He's the first one to go for a second gold mine. No disease cloud. Entangle immediately. Lich is in trouble. Halfway down. Coil arrives, but he's blocked by the Alchemist. How much damage can these Gargs do? Acid Bomb connects. Lich is completely cut off. Yeah, and there's no Coil anymore. This Lich might be dead. The DK, though, taking quite a bit of fire here. Getting a lot of the damage over there. Heal Potion triggered. Must be triggered soon. He's playing with fire again. There's no nuke, though. Both heroes here dropping low on the other side once again. This Dryad Micro is out of this world. One volley comes in and instantly he's sending them away. See this? He's saving two again. Uh, now a little mistake. Actually, uh, Happy not following through. Above the trees. Statue is there for healing. A-bomb is super low though. There is, should be another coil, right? Happy stays on 45. This Guard Micro is also pretty sick. But Happy has no more damage. Nope. Can't go in with the guards again. Eats the A-bomb. Everything is hurt. DK has the potion already huh. used. And he thinks of the oh, Shadow Melt. Oh, the Shadow Melt. Instant Shadow Melt. And the statue is down wow. as well. Wow. My god, Moon! That's insane. Level up, level four. OK, but can he still run away? There is a coil. Has to use it on the Lich. He's just seeing the Matrix now. Saves the rest of the guards at least. Oh, my god. Oh. And the Dryad scouts the expansion, of course. Oh my god. Holy Jesus. Counter expansion by Moon. Can Happy recover? He has three production buildings, but is that enough? No tower up. And everything hurt. What's the mana looking like for Moon? Alchemist is dry. Keeper, one spell. Not good is the answer. This Dryad's dead. 
here. Getting, ah, uh, not level 3, but closer. Almost. Can he hold this? Tearing down stuff with Dryads and Alchemist, not easy, but tearing down units is. One coil has to be saved for the Lich, who is almost around it. Alchemist can, of course, attack air. Stone form used, but the Gogs are just falling out of the sky. It's raining bones. Now he's aiming for the DK. There's no Death Pact on him. This might just be the hero kill. This might be the Equalizer. DK is pretty fast with a level 2 aura. Can he make it away? Trying to get the Keeper with a bit of healing. Oh, he gets the he Keeper! And now, can he save this? Oh boy, Mighty lose the DK still due to the Acid Bomb. He stops oh, moving for a second. Is there something Are to save serious? him? The Dryads can't oh reach. Happy, you madman! He transferred the Parib of Vitality in the midst of all of this craziness, by the way. But there's still so many Dryads. 57 supply. But the Lich is a Gatling gun. The Alchemist is still chasing the DK. Did he get a potion Oh, there's the Z-Cloud now. There's the Z-Cloud now as yep. well, which is working over time. The Lich is super crazy. He's killing so much. Now he's getting focused, though. There's going to yep. be another Acid Bomb right now. Alchemist is back. Needs the coil. DK is playing with fire, but gets the coil in in coil? a second. <laughs> playing with it. The Snack statue is coming. Dryads are still falling. This acid, uh, this uh, disease cloud again. Yeah, disease cloud is perhaps turning this around. But how close was this on <laughs> both sides? This keeper almost got the entangled, which would have been the kill, but he died before. Couldn't use the TP. The thing is just a little bit too slow. But happy holds. Oh Jesus Christ! Happy, happy held with 34 supply, and I guess what was 125 HP DK. It was a lot less. <laughs> <laughs> he got the double slaughterhouse up. He gets the meat wagons. He survived this. Jesus Christ. Levels far yeah. ahead. Ziggurats coming up. If those two Ziggurats turn into two spirit towers, you can forget about running in there with Dryads. Moon has to, has to, has to, has to expand again, right? Like, he can't break this anymore. Yeah. But two base versus two, so it's like, okay. Wagons coming in now. Lots of wagons. Two already, at least one more on the way. Happy playing it safe, going for a TP. I like that. Not risking too much. Potion and invul as well. I would love if he had upgraded spirit towers as well. Just, you know, hunker down. He's You're an undead on two bases. This is looking no good. This is looking good. He's spending all his resources as fast as it comes in. Level four lich, plus four intelligence, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is that to be used? Oh, can he snipe the meat wagons? Oh, oh, can he snipe the alchemist? What a fight now. He has siege damage against this, but the dryads are jumping on them. No damage yet. He wants to get the perfect position, but Happy is putting so much damage on the heroes. Can he kill the uh, uh, the keeper again? TP must come in. Is it again? What are you doing? Oh my god, Moon! Five supply. Is there? Oh, nuke, 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 alchemist. Ooh, oh my god. That was a heal scroll. Whoo. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I'm, I'm so close to a heart attack right <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah. So close. Uh. You guys better take your medication. This is a tough one to watch. Can we just stop this and calm down for a second? Twisted Meadows and Finals. What is it with this map? Moon can't allow these wagons to reach his base. There's one spirit tower here, which is already tough for the drives, but at least not two. The Hunter's Hall proxy sees his attack coming in. How are you supposed to hold this tree against this mass siege damage? There's no Dryads Dryads with the piercing. They're tickling the buildings. Not even sure if he has Nature's Blessing, to be honest. So Moon has to TP, attack. and then what? Does he have a TP? Yes, he does. Heal scroll as well, but everything is hurt already. TP, is that the last stand for Moon already? Oh, so much damage. Repair came in late. Happy kills the Expo, losing one meat wagon. Is he even willing to get out there? Oh, he's going for the Alchemist again. Is that the hero? There's nothing on him. Alchemist dead, and now no acid bomb. The meat wagons, the damage dealers are out too, but the Keeper! Ew, Info Potion saves him, but was that the last time? Yes! We have a Western World Champion! Happy, he's not considering himself a competitive player, and you know what? Because there's no competition for the Russian! $30,000, best in the world! Amazing performance by Happy. Getting the title, the first place, well, the championship, the, the trophy, the throne.
to the emperor. He claims it in China as well. There's no doubt. There's absolutely no doubt. Lin dead. TH dead. Moon dead. And yeah. the West it has the first champion it's your first in time nine and a half GL years. And you're the champion. The first European player who win this title. Come on, I know you have a lot of things to share with us. Well, I certainly didn't expect it to win the tournament. I am uh, sincerely happy about it. And, well, I simply don't know what else to say. Completely unexpected. It feels great. 他说他非常开心，他从来没有想过自己可以赢得这样的一个冠军，他毕竟是第一个欧洲选手获得这样的一个殊荣的。我们把掌声送给他，因为我看得出来他现在非常的紧张。And now you have two hundred thousand prize money all together. How would you like to spend it? Have you ever think about it? No, probably gonna save up for future, like always. I'm just asking the fans here and that you deserve the title of the Undead King, but please promise us don't tell Bobina to nerf Undead anymore, please. 我前面是跟他说的是让他去告诉暴雪不要再削弱亡灵的，虽然他很强，但是我们还是需要更多的亡灵选手。让我们再次恭喜一下 Happy， 把掌声送给他。He actually did it。接下来我们请出的是工作人员送上了属于 Happy 的属于二十万金额的奖金，有请我们的工作人员送上属于他的奖金牌。That's it. That's it. The eighth gold league and the West finally, finally, finally. Has its champion. We also invite the audience to take your phones and your phones and take your phones. Two hundred thousand RMB, which is roughly thirty thousand dollars for Happy. Unbelievable. Coming in here, kind of forced by his fans, ending up the champ. Hopefully, this only is a taste for him, a taste of competition, a taste of getting a championship and not his dream realized. We hope to see him here again at WGL, but that's gonna be a story for the future. Here we have the second and third and fourth place finishers. Second place to Moon, third and fourth to China with TH and 120. These four players all with outstanding performances in this tournament, but it was Happy who was the best who was only defeated once when for once he wasn't playing his absolute strongest. <laughs> the Chinese, during the preparation for the stream, they had this graphic up. Usually, like, since we've been here in the studio, this was always a curse because the winner was never used as an example. Happy breaking this curse. We're gonna try to get him here, by the way, after he's done with the stage and his celebration. Hopefully, he's gonna be inclined to come here to our studio, which is just around the corner for him, and get a chance here to, yeah, talk about that final. Oh boy. Yeah, the top four, Happy, Moon, 120, and TH. Those were the top four. Also, shout out to the up-and-coming players here, Chimiko and Sock breaking out little highlight video as it seems. We are going to be back with Happy. I would like to thank everyone that followed me and watched me throughout this tournament. It finally feels to win something so important because I come from Russia, a faraway country. In my region, I win most uh, of the local tournaments. But here, it's the biggest tournament with the uh, best players in the world, so it feels great to finally win something that big. Thank you.
a lot of words, man. Nine and a half year drought for the West is over. It seemed utterly impossible the first time we came to China for WCA. That a Westerner, a European could do it. It took until 2019 until happy <laughs> for this to finally come true. With one yeah, hell of a performance. My God, gosh golly. And At again, the momentum swings in Warcraft. 1-0 lead for TH, happy, three wins in a row. 1-0 lead for 1-2-0, three wins in a row. 1-0 lead for Moon, happy, three wins in a row. Unbelievable. But also how he stayed in that game. That was possibly the best dry and micro all year that we saw there in the last game by Moon. Happy was down 15 supply. Happy was supposed to lose that game, but <laughs> it takes a lot to take out Happy. Kind of takes himself, it seems like, to beat himself. Yeah, yeah, true. Like he has to have a very bad day. Also, he was so unpredictable, I guess, for most of the players here. Moon tried a lot. Not super uh, unusual stuff. Maybe on Twisted he did. On Echo tried as well, but Happy was just ready for basically everything. One misstep uh, where he didn't expect the bears. But apart from that, Happy just had the solutions everywhere and the micro to like do it. Unbelievable. Yes. <sighs> okay, so we just got told that uh, the production is trying to get Happy to us. Of course, uh, the Western scene wants to see the champion. Speaking of production, these guys here at VSPN are uh, freaking amazing, doing an awesome job. I see you. Here he is. Happy. Oh my god. Guys, he's here. Happy the champion. The first time he makes it to WGL. Unbelievable. First of all, congratulations. And I have to repeat myself again. Uh, I have told Happy a lot of times over the times he was playing here. At the end of the day, oh my god, Happy, that was impressive. And I have to say so again. You said plenty of times you were not expecting this. Um, but it did come true, you know? Miracles can happen, and every now and then you get a good run. Well, you mostly get a good run. Normally, every uh, tournament you enter, you win, but that's mostly in Europe, mostly like, I don't know, good game tournaments, stuff like that. Also the Legendary Cup, but this was the World Championship. All of the best players in the world came together, it's, and it's, uh, yeah, it's unbelievable. Here you win as well. <sighs> okay, so something that was really awesome to see when you won Twisted Meadows, it seemed like for the first time, not the first time, but r fairly rarely that seems to happen to you. It's uh, emotions seem to burst out of you. You did like this motion. When the GG's came out from Moon, was it just a feeling or did you have actually a thought in mind? Was there something specific you were thinking? Uh, like you mean about my emotions or you mean about like, the like game? Like in that moment when he types GG and when you win, were you sent Thinking something in sp well, specific, I, or as I said, I didn't expect it to win the mm -hmm. first place. So I thought like the game wasn't really going too good for me the last one yeah. until he messed up with Keeper. So I thought that uh, I'm gonna lose the game and then there's gonna be the cider game. It's always like uh, you know uh, nervous moment. Okay. So it went good for me and I was yeah. genuinely happy. Obviously, obviously. <sighs> yeah, I can only imagine how relieved you must feel as well. Such a big prize purse to go to you. Um, you've ha faced a lot of um, opponents here in this tournament. Basically defeated the best Nightlife in the world, the best human in the world, the two best orcs in the world. Who did you feel like was your hardest opponent in the game? Can you single one out or...? I think Focus was, but only in the first series. Mm -hmm. 
uh, it's not even that much about the player still, it's rather about the matchups. Like, I was quite confident against Nidal from the beginning, against Human, well, you know, like, uh, he, the, uh, on this tournament, uh, among all humans, only two humans made me really worry. Other than that, I was quite confident that I could play well, so only r only one matchup that was left that I wasn't sure about was against Torque. Like, no one that can be sure against Torque, so mm -hmm. it was like the hardest, at least mentally. E like, ev even if I won against Focus 2-0, in the second uh, in the second match it still was probably like the hardest one for me okay before this tournament uh, you stated multiple times that obviously you're a streamer and the streamer streaming is the most important thing for you you're not mainly a, c a competitive player now you've been here now you have played at the world championship has this experience changed something for you or is it still are we go are you going to prioritize competitive play more or is it still mostly about streaming for you yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. For now. <laughs> yes. For now, uh, it's still the same. I don't know. I need to come back. Mm -hmm. I'll probably take some rest. Uh, then who knows? But for now, it's same as before. So yeah, I just need to think about okay. it. Like there aren't really really any upcoming tournaments so far that big. If they will appear, then I might think. But for now, it's the same. All right. Well, thank you for coming in here, and thank you for sharing, uh, sharing some of your thoughts. What message do you have for the fans? Is there something you want to say? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, thank you for watching. Thank you for cheering for me, and hope you enjoyed the tournament. All right. Mm. Amazingly done. Happy. Still in awe. This is it, guys. This was it. The WGL Summer 2019 here and back to Warcraft. Happy hour. New world champion, the first time in so many years, a Westerner from Russia with one hell of a performance. Thank you all for tuning in here over these days. It's been a blast for us. I hope you enjoy that as well. This is the last day. This is the last moment, but this is far from all. Back to Warcraft here on Twitch and on YouTube. Neil, by my side. I hope you stay tuned here to our beautiful channel, to all that Warcraft has to offer in this year with Reforge, with all the new tournaments coming up. We're really excited. Hopefully, you'll be here by our side to enjoy it alongside us. I hope I see you again soon. This is it. Production. Cue it! We're out. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>